And there's an 800 mil egg shaped sewer there, and it was 90% full of uh, cooking, solid cooking fat. So the spinning jet nozzle was emulsified it and removed, and then we removed it using vacuum tanker. Um, also, we used a different style of jetting bomb, which is just pure power and velocity of water, which is 110 gallons a minute um, at 3,000 psi. And basically, we just we've just spent the last four or five hours removing removing cooking fat out of a 90 metre stretch of drain. And what was all that round the actual edge that we could the, see on the, the white, yeah. that's still cooking fat, that's a resist, with small amount still left there, which is impregnating into the brickwork. So how long do you think that's been there? I would say 10 years. I would say it's a 10, it's, the build up was huge, it's the worst, it's the most I've ever seen in, a, in an 800 mil sewer. It was 90, 95% full. Um, yeah, that's the worst I've ever seen. So uh, what, what have you done to get it out and how far have you got it out? We've got it, what we did, we used spinning jetting as I said, high, um, high pressure water jetting and just basically smashed it, smashed the life, emulsified it all and sucked it out at the same time, used bulk carriers to take it away to um, the tipping sites and there we have, you know, that's it. Cooking fat is the worst problem in London. So due to the high rise in every, every other shop in town, um, I'm supposed to use uh, fat traps which catches the fat before it hits the drains and then they have them emptied periodically every three, four months and um, this place doesn't seem to have one and uh, yeah so it's just going straight into the drain and because of the silt and that that's gathered in this end it's not allowing um, Sainsbury's water or sewage to get off site and the cooking fat's just solidifying overnight.